Are your eyes open? Are you sure? Are your eyes open? I'm just checking. Just want to make sure your eyes open because there's a lot of people out here, man, who's walking blind. You dig? Their eyes are not open. Oh, yeah, they seeing. But their eyes are not open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're intaking and ingesting things that are going on, but yet their eyes are not open. In order for us to see the, the beauty, right? Our eyes need to be open because a lot of times we can see things literally, but we're not seeing the beauty in it. We're not beholding the, the wonder and the joy and the, and the creativity and the love. We're, we're not experiencing any of those things as we're looking at things unfold as we go throughout our life because our eyes haven't been open. And this is, this is, should be one of the prayers that we pray, Lord, open my eyes so I can see the beauty in your word. So I can see the wondrous works in your law. Open my eyes. Don't let me just walk around here and, and be walking blind. You know, I, I see how to maneuver. I see obstacles, but I need your spirit, God, to be able to see spiritual things. I can't use my regular vision to see spiritual things. It just doesn't work. It never has worked and it never will work, right? We have to ask God to open our spiritual eyes so we can see the spiritual things in the world, the spiritual things in his word. How can we read his word and, and get the deeper meanings and the gist of things that he really meant if we're trying to read his word from a just um, um, regular visual perspective. We read the word like it's a book, you know, like it's a, you know, like a novel, right? And we take things that are literal from what's being said, in which we should, because there are many things that are literal. It's a historically sound, factually based, right? But there are so many things that our eyes need to be opened in the spirit realm to be able to understand because the book was written by the Holy Spirit. It was written through man, but the Holy Spirit came upon man to write down the words that God wanted to convey. And you need to have your eyes open spiritually to be able to really grasp and understand the wondrous workings of God's law, his beauty, his attributes, how he cares for us, how he moves things around, how he, he, he works all things to our good, right? That are the called and are, and are, are, are loved, right? We're called according to his purposes. He works things that we can't see. He moves things, manure things. He takes away things. He adds things, right? He does things in the miraculous so that they're going to work out for our good. And they're going to work out for our good because we love him and we're called according to his purpose. And he said that his word would never return unto him void. So when he sends out his word on our behalf, to work for our good, it's not going to return back unto him without accomplishing what he said and called forth to accomplish, to do his good pleasure. You did? So we ought to pray, God, open my eyes. Not so I can just see things and I can know what's going on with people and people's business and I can be able to, you know, uh, read their mail. No, that's not for those purposes. Open my eyes spiritually, God, so I can see you more clearly, so I can see the beauty in your word, the beauty and the wondrous works of your law, that the things that come out of your law. And his word is his law. There's so many wondrous and beautiful things in his word that we don't see because our eyes aren't open. So let that be our prayer. Lord, open my eyes. Show me the wondrous works of your law. I want to see you in the beauty of holiness, right? I want to see you in the beauty. I want to see you beautiful, first of all. A lot of people don't even see God because their eyes ain't open. And then when they see God, they see God as this, this hard, harsh, 
rough, vengeful God, right? There are aspects of God that are that way. But God is very loving. He's very gentle. He's patient. He's long suffering. He's he's all these things that the fruit of the spirit is. This is God's attributes. And how can we see him in the fullness and totality of his attributes unless we walk in the spirit, unless our eyes have been opened in the spirit? We can't see God. So we need to ask God to open our eyes in the spirit so we can see him. Then we can see the beautiful wonders of his word, of his law. You did? It'll change your mind. It'll change your perspective. It'll change your heart. It'll change how you move. It'll change how you talk and how you receive. It'll change how you interact with people. When your eyes have been opened and you can see spiritually things in the word that God wants to convey, these hidden mysteries that man have read for centuries, but because they didn't have the spiritual insight and their eyes weren't open, those mysteries were just that, mysteries. They were never unfolded and explained. They were never shown with clarity. This is why we need the Holy Spirit so we can walk in clarity, so he can reveal to us the mysteries in his word and then we won't have to be ignorant any longer. For all those out there that, that claim that they're conscious, right? They're coming into this woke state, right? For, for the woke crowd or for the conscious community. Folks, listen, that's all great and dandy. We all need to wake up. We all need to be more conscious, right? And more conscious of the truth. So that when we wake up in our spiritual insight and eyes are open and enlightening, we will see the truth. We will see the deeper meanings of the truth. We'll see the beauty in the truth. And then we can help others to have their eyes open and enlightened. Why and how? Because we want them to know the truth and we want them to receive Jesus Christ. We want them to receive the gospel. And how? By just living our lives, by being uh, good fishers of men, by being good representation of Jesus Christ and as a, you know, member, as a citizen of heaven, of the kingdom of God. We want to represent God well because we represent him and and we live in his kingdom. We reside in his kingdom. And because that is our our place of residence, we have citizenship there. Right. Our nationality is kingdom not worldly not american or african or european or brazilian or south american or you know australia none of the countries on the earth but our citizenship our our place of residence is in the kingdom you dig so ask god to open your spiritual eyes if they have not been opened Pray to him and ask him to do it. And if you believe, he will open your eyes so that you can start seeing things from his law, right? So let's go ahead and read the word real quick and then we'll go ahead and end this. The word is simply coming out of Psalms 119 and the 18th verse. And it simply says, open thou mine eyes that I may behold the wondrous things out of thy law. Open my eyes so I can behold them, so I can see them. It's my desire to see the wondrous things of your law, the deeper things of your law, to understand you in a more fuller and complete way. It is my desire, God, to see you. And I know you're a spirit, so I need you to open my spiritual eyes and so I can have spiritual sight and understanding to be able to see all of the wonders that is in your word because your wonders are vast. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what the Lord has prepared for us. You did? So that's my prayer that you would ask God to open your eyes and you would be enlightened and that you would see a whole new wondrous world in the spirit and that the mysteries would be unfolded before you. You did? This is your man, LaVon. Be blessed on today. Remember, LaMelle E. Love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, 
and enlightened. And please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video on all your platforms. You dig? Let everybody you know they can come to Levon Says and get their daily motivation content. Your man, Levon, I'm out.